<laughs> You're disappointed. <laughs> I had this great idea for tonight, for this little, the two-minute extravaganza that all America loves, just after Dave, just before me, where I come out for two minutes. Sometimes there's puppets, sometimes there's a singing tennis ball. It's like a magical wonderland. <laughs> So tonight I had this idea, of what I would do, I would have sparklers. You know, like I would like, ah, 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 ah. It, would, it would be like Cher in Las Vegas or something. I even got the sparklers, look. But here's the thing. Apparently, under uh, LA County law, I have to go through a training course. <laughs> A training course in order to light sparklers on TV. <laughs> and then, when I thought, well, I'll tell the folks about that, I go to the special effects guy who's there. He's got bucket loads of sparklers. He's got Catherine wheels. He's got rocket. He's got dynamite. He's got everything in there. And I said, oh, let me take it out. He went, no, you can have that one. <laughs> But don't open it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And I'm gonna take out the very, very dangerous. Please, you might want to get back from your TV a little bit. Because remember, I haven't trained. Oh, you know, we need these big robot hands you see in movies. People sweating and everything. Oh, he's going to light the sparkler. <laughs> now, the training course that I have to go on, I actually am going to go on it. Apparently, it takes what, five to ten minutes. <laughs> it's not that. It's the whole point of the thing. Do, do people in L.A., do, do you wonder in L.A. why the rest of the country thinks we're a bunch of wussies? Here's the reason. <laughs> Out there in Arkansas, there's no training course for lighting a sparkler. <laughs> what happened to Land of the Free? <laughs> anyway, come back tomorrow night and there'll be fireworks. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to The Late Late Show. Now, remember this. If you're watching at home, alone, or with other people, remember, I haven't trained. <laughs> I haven't passed the required government course <laughs> to be some douche in the middle of the night. <laughs> Which is the name of a movie I accidentally rented once. Uh, <laughs> Here they are. Look, there's the sparkles I was talking about earlier. Man, see, there they are. Yeah. Apparently they're green. We'll never know. <laughs> Maybe I should save them for St. Patrick's Day when everything's safe. <laughs> because the watchword of St. Patrick's Day is always safety first. <laughs> I can't believe that. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the damned sexual harassment video. I had to watch. Apparently. It's not good. I thought it'd be good. It's not good. You have to... You watch the sexual harassment video and a lawyer, a lawyer, mind you, tells me how I must behave to a woman, right? How I must behave to a lady. And I'm like, a lawyer's going to tell me how to behave? A lawyer? I mean, no disrespect, but lawyers are scum. Not lady lawyers, of course. Only men lawyers. <laughs> That seems so odd to me. Yeah, yeah anyway. <laughs> I thought the sexual harassment... I see, I, anyway, that's California law as well. It's not the whole country, it's just California. If you're in a position of power... <laughs> you have to watch the sexual harassment law. I guess that was put in place by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's the governor of California. He would never sexually harass someone around him. <laughs> the governor of New York, I saw today. Now, the governor of New York, who is blind, right, is suggesting that perhaps there should be a tax on internet porn. And I'm thinking to myself, well, now, I know this is delicate, but is someone who's blind... 
allowed to make decisions about porn. <laughs> now, I'm not saying what side of that argument I'm on. I know what side of this argument I'm on. I'm just saying, I just point it out, that's all. I know we're over time, but I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> I would tell you how hot you look, but I can't, for legal reasons. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Rest assured, this show tonight will have no sexiness and no fireworks. <laughs> which will make us the undoubted victor in the upcoming late night wars. <laughs> it's like trying to fight with other people's hands tied behind your back. No fireworks and no sex, but make a show for Americans. Sure. Sure. Fine, I'll, I can do it, sure, yeah. If I didn't have fart jokes, I would have just nothing. <laughs> you know, I think a good fart joke is like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> All right, I can't be... <laughs> I can't be doing this. Too sexy. Um, i got to do the emails. But you know what? I'm not going to do an email jingle tonight. Do you know why? I'm getting bored with them, frankly. Email me and tell me what you think, but I'm kind of bored with them. I, you know, there's a, oh, we're going to have an email and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, listen, we, they know. <laughs> but if you want them, email me th to say that you want them and I might put them back. Because this show doesn't belong to me, it belongs to you. <laughs> Not really. I'm telling something that isn't true. I'm like if you imagine me as a lawyer, for example. Uh, this is from Rebecca in Indianapolis, which is uh, in Indiana. Oh, uh, yeah, I know them all because I passed the test to be an American. Now, when... Now, when I say I passed the test to be an American, I just did the regular test. I didn't do the advanced grad school test where you actually get to operate fireworks. <laughs> We don't have any more time. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Imagine, imagine if you will, imagine me, right, saying welcome back with two sparklers in each hand. Whoa! People would be like, this is awesome. Take that, Lucas, and your Star Wars crap. They'd be like, oh. Now, wouldn't this look great if there was a sparkler here? Wouldn't that fill you with patriotic pride? Sorry, not licensed. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Welcome back to the Tiffany Network, everyone. Well, you know, I like. We did learn tonight that a good fart joke is like a breath of fresh air. We did learn that tonight. And you know what? I I would like to go back on what I was saying because. I, I was, I was, you know, saying that you had to have a license to do the sparklers, and I was making fun, making light of the whole idea that somehow. But you, can you imagine if the amount of fartiness around this studio, <laughs> and one of these babies went off? <laughs> That's just the kind of thing that a trained sparkler igniter would know. <laughs> Um, 
well, now, what we will do tomorrow, I promise tomorrow that I'm going to set aside a large portion of my lunchtime to um, <laughs> learning how to safely ignite a uh, sparkler so that no one will be endangered with rogue firework ignition. <laughs> Don't you ever just think, you know, when people are, th I mean, it, it, sometimes it goes too far. I mean, really. Like there's a warning on the coffee cup telling you it's hot. <laughs> it's coffee. <laughs> You're lucky if it's hot. <laughs> All right, so uh, I know we're out of time. I know I, I, I'm so sorry, but in fact, I have no license. Uh, so I, I can't time a show. Not like a licensed talk show host could. I've probably taken this too far, haven't I? I, got, I almost go too far. It's like that time I got into that argument with Kate Winslet. Let's not start that again. All right, good night, everybody, good night. Anyway, great news, everybody. I got my sparkler use permit today. Yeah, thank you. Yesterday, if you didn't see the show, if you didn't see the show yesterday, well done. Um, but I, I wanted to light like, a sparkler at the start of the show for, you know, exciting show business entertainment. And I had to get a permit to light it. I didn't have it yesterday. But now, Ian, the special effects guy, is in line of sight. All right, Ian. Uh, all right, sit down. Uh, <laughs> He's got to be in line of sight. Only four to six sparklers may be used during the show. <laughs> sparklers may be used at monologue mark or home base position only. Oh, that's a shame because I'm not in either one of these. But I can't live by your rules. <laughs> Come and get me, copper. Come and get me. <laughs> the, you know, very rarely on this show do I wish we had a band. Because this would be great to have some exciting music for me to light this sparkler. And kick off a night of riotous and intense show business. <laughs> so we'll have to work together using our imaginations. And we'll get a band. And, and, but here it comes. Come on. How you feeling now, Al Qaeda? <laughs> yeah, I want to think again. <laughs> That's right, because the Scottish guy's got a sparkler. <laughs> actually, I think it's going to burn my hand. We have to take a break. <laughs> it's actually quite nippy on your hand. I can see now why you would need a permit. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back to the firework extravaganza. <laughs> you know, I hosted the uh, Boston Pops uh, firework display last 4th of July in Boston, and whilst it was entertaining, it wasn't this. <laughs> it was a lot better. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to light my set. I'm allowed six sparklers a night, and I'm going to light my second one. But actually, the last one uh, burnt my hand a bit, so... Uh, I don't have a glove, but I do have a... <laughs> what could be more adorable than a unicorn with a sparkler? <laughs> I sense tension amongst the fire marshals. <laughs> don't worry, I have magical powers. I could get rid of the flaminess. Should it be dangerous? Actually, you know what? I should probably use a... Because this puppet's got a lot of uh, hair on it. I mean, unicorns, you don't want to... If you've got to have a, an animal hold a sparkler, it should really be a 
dinosaur. Oh, yeah. A dinosaur holding a sparkler? Come on. There. All right. I'll come right up because, you know, the kids that are smoking the herbal cigarettes are going to go nuts for this. <laughs> Which camera? Which guy you want? This one or that one? This one? <laughs> this one? This one or that one? There's only two. Come on! <laughs> this one? All right. The one you're pointing at, you mean? All right. You ready? All right, I don't want to be in it, though, because then, look, what you should do is send whoever's not watching the show out of the room, or, I tell you what, whoever's smoking the herbal cigarettes, tell them to come into the room because there's a dinosaur on TV with a sparkler in its mouth. And they'll be like, no way, and I'll be like, y you'll be like, yeah. I'm not allowed to do it. Yeah, you'll never take me alive, copper. <laughs> they won't. They're trying to stop me. You're trying to stop me? Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, just... Yeah, actually, I can't operate this. I, uh... No. Oh, no. What would happen if I actually did it then, while I'm not allowed to do it? A sparkler permit's revoked. <laughs> Welcome to America, buddy. <laughs> For the land of the free! <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, that's entertainment right there, isn't it? <laughs> there's no, but no, just, just the, not me, that, yeah, there's no business like show business. Uh, all right, hang on, hang on, the pup is on fire. Quick, come over. C come over, Ian, and we'll put it out. The sparkler, it's, I feel like such a fool. Don't try and... Uh, there you go, Ian. <sighs> oh, my Lord! All right, all right. Where else on television can you get this? <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> Nowhere. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Meow. I'll tell you what I learned on the show tonight. Uh, I, I learned something that I... Sometimes when you think you're being funny, you're actually breaking the law. <laughs> I don't know if you be, were with us earlier on. Now, earlier on, I, I insanely uh, put a uh, sparkler in the mouth of a live dinosaur. <laughs> now, you laugh, and I thank you, but it actually is... I really broke the law, and I could be going to the big house for this. <laughs> but more important, it was pointed out to me, and I think this is true, it's really stupid to put a sparkler in a puppet's mouth. And they said to me, well, what about kids? Kids could be watching the show. And I'm thinking, well, if kids are watching this show, there's bigger problems at home than sparklers and puppets. <laughs> that being said, please, kids, if you're up late, then don't... I mean, really, it's so stupid. It's stupid. Well, look, no, you can see. Look, it's dead. <laughs> of sparkler inhalation. <laughs> I'm kidding, he's fine. I'm fine! <laughs> now look, it is stupid, and also it was pointed out to me that many people who watch this show are drunk and high. <laughs> uh, and uh, they might think, oh, what a great idea, put a sparkler in a dinosaur. <laughs> ha! Oh! Now listen, if you're watching the show and you're drunk and you're high, <laughs> I understand. But... Please, and I mean this in all seriousness, do not play with fireworks. They are not toys. Puppets are, but fireworks aren't. And, uh, you know, I might be out of town for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.